Hello people, yeah. check this out. We have a simple table here which is displaying the month and the total value. However, the problem is that the months are displayed in the alphabetical order. I would rather want them from January till December. Now, how do we correct this? If you know it already, you're going to go to the calendar table and you're going to create a month number column and then sort the month name by the month number and then you would have this table correctly displayed. But guess what? In this video, I'm going to share a trick with you that is going to completely omit sort by another column and you shall have a lot of fun. Let's start. All right, people, I'm working with the simple calendar table, which is where I have two columns, date and the month. The month is a simple format function. I am taking out the month in an abbreviated format from that particular date. Now, at the moment, if I have to solve the problem, I'll have to create a month index and then sort the month by the order of the index column. And then I would probably get this right. Now, in order for us not to do that, what we are going to use is a non width space. What do I mean by that exactly? Let me just try to help you understand. So let's just say that we are writing the month of Jan and Jan should appear first in the list displayed in any visual. So let's just say that we are going to at the start of Jan, we are going to add non width spaces because there is not going to be any width. It will not just not show up. So I'm going to add, let's say 11 non width spaces. And these dashes are certainly not 11, but you get the idea. Now, this is going to make sure that Jan stays up on the top in against the month of Feb, I'm going to add, let's say, one less, which is 10 non width spaces. And in the month of March, I'm going to add, let's say nine non width spaces, so on and so forth. And this is just going to be, you know, sorted in the order. Now, what is the code for getting a non width space character that is 8203. So I've written a very simple code right here. And I'm going to copy that code and bring it um, as like a prefix to this month column. So what I'm going to say that, Hey, why don't you continue extracting the month, which is this particular piece of code. But I also would want you to just maybe have a non width character repeated multiple number of times before the month of January, then before the month of February, so on and so forth. And that's a simple repeat function that I have used to repeat the non width space by a certain number of times as simple as that. Now, this is not going to change this particular column in any way whatsoever. But if you just go back and take a look at your visual, the months are now sorted in the right order. How beautiful is that? Now, if you're the kind of guy who works with Power Query and you create date tables with Power Query, good enough. I also have the code for Power Query. So I'm just going to right click on this column, which I have created through Power Query, right click and I'm just going to go to the edit query right here. And you can maybe just take a look at the custom code that I have used to create the month uh, name right here. So I'm just going to maybe open up that and take a look that this is going to be pretty much the same kind of logic. We are again using the 8203 and maybe just repeating the character a certain number of times to have it preceded by the month name. That's pretty much it. Just click on OK and you would have it and click on close and apply. Now, even if you use the DAX method or the Power Query method, you're going to get this right. Another benefit that you get of applying this technique is that your DAX is going to become ridiculously simple and easy to understand if you are applying percentage of total calculations. So what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to find out that January is what percentage value of the total. So I would want two values. I would want 178 and divide that by the total amount right here. How do I do that? Now, historically speaking, if you have been doing such kind of calculations, you would have to remove the filters, not only from the month, but also from the other column where the month has been sorted by. And you'll have to mention two columns in, in remove filters function or the all function, depending upon whatever you tend to use it. Now, in this scenario, since the sorting has already been done. I don't really have to worry about anything. And my measure looks damn simple and straightforward. And if I drag this measure to my pivot table right here, I'm going to get the percentage total of the months pretty much correct. All right, that's been it. Let me know if you have any questions around this. I'll be glad to reply. Also, I'd like to give a big shout out to Patrick Mahoney and his video on date table tricks, which is where I picked up this technique. I will leave a link to that video in the description and you should definitely take a look at this particular technique and several other techniques as well that he shares on his YouTube channel. Thanks so much for sticking all around. In case you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. And in the end, a big shout about my DAX and my Power Query courses in case you are starting out with Power BI. 
and Axe and Power Query seem hard and data modeling seems hard, you'd like to build up your fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more challenging, more difficult problems, uh, even of your own data, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be super awesome. Thanks so much for sticking all around and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers and bye now.